Welcome back to another video of uh, tracking the changes, the series of videos which look at the current marketplace and the world of business and try to track what is changing, what we should be paying attention to and what we should be doing about it in order to evolve in this new reality that we're facing. And um, it's Dr. Johnson, of course, who said that the threat of death focuses the mind. And I'm paraphrasing, of course, because he wasn't talking about death specifically. He was referring to hanging and death by implication. And he meant, of course, that when we face an imminent danger that is clear and present to us, we tend to cut out all distractions. And on that note, I've had a few emails from you about the change of background and my change of t-shirt. And yes, you are right. The wall has changed to the color of my t-shirt and my t-shirt has changed to the color that the wall used to be. And it's an experiment on my side where I basically uh, sort of changed the color of one for the other. And I'm kidding, of course, right? Because all I did was paint the wall black and I do have in my wardrobe more than just black t-shirts. I may change back, I don't know, but we'll still see. But getting back to the pandemic and the threat which we're facing now, being a little bit more serious, um, the pandemic itself obviously is a stressor, obviously it is a threat, and it should, in theory, in principle, help us clarify our mind. It does not, and this is where the problem comes in. It doesn't because, unlike hanging, unlike the obvious threat of death, the pandemic presents us with a number of possibilities, a number of challenges, and a number of threats, none of which is clear as to their sort of um, uh, imminence to us. Is it threatening our health? Maybe. Is it threatening the health of those around us? Certainly it is, but we don't know to what degree. Is it affecting businesses everywhere? It is, but not all the business, businesses to the same degree. And at the same time, it is creating opportunities. Is it affecting the global economy? Without a doubt. But again, it's part of the overall change which we experience. Taken in their totality. All of these things basically become distractions which are hard to ignore, which means that from a cognitive perspective, we begin to then become confused. We're not sure where we should be paying attention. We, we're not sure where, what we should be focusing on. And this is where the problem comes in. Now, here's how we actually deal with this. Sure, the pandemic is a global threat. Sure, it is also a local threat. But to each of us, to each business, it does not manifest in exactly the same way. So what we need to do is actually apportion a number or a weight to the scale of the threat which we face, whether personally or professionally, and then see what practical steps are needed in order to protect the business and the person, our person, and then mitigate the effects of the pandemic in both cases. So essentially, if we take that approach, we are using selective attention, we are focusing on very specific things. Our focus on those things then entails very practical steps that need to be taken. For instance, if you're protecting your person in this kind of environment, you need to, without a doubt, practice social distancing, wash your hands frequently uh, after you've touched things and you've been outside, and wear a mask when you're not in your home environment. So, you know, these are practical things which, you know, they, we shouldn't be arguing about, we shouldn't be discussing at any kind of uh, depth, we should just be doing it automatically. When it comes to business, we know for a fact that uncertainty is going to be there for the next 14 months. There's going to be economies going up and down, we're going to have um, lockdowns at a local level, lockdowns perhaps at a national level, national supply chains are going to be stressed the uh, people's buying power is going to, to undergo some kind of um, uh, pressure and that has an impact on every kind of business. So if we just take that one thing, that uncertainty is there for the next 14 months, then we should be trying to actually control the things which we can control over the time period, whether it's you know, uh, loans which need to be managed or, or, or uh, rents that need to be discussed or any kind of um, sort of a pivot of the business itself. So it brings in money. So that should be the approach we should be applying in order to deal with a pandemic that is definitely putting every one of us under pressure. And we need to be smart in order to cut out the distractions, lessen the cognitive load that it generates, and actually focus our minds on the practical steps which will lead us to the next phase 
of what is coming. I really hope this helps. Don't forget to subscribe. There'll be more links in the description below, which will take you to, to greater depth. Take care. Stay safe.